Iron Gajaller Horn. What's up guys, it's Trey, and this is a chopper. This is a chopper from my friends over at Sniper Blade Works, and it is a monstrous knife. You guys seem to respond well to the crazy knives, so I figured I'd bring this one out. It's pretty cool and doesn't see enough love on the channel. So, this is a monster box to open with our monster knife. Now this showed up from GameStop, not the SE&C member named GameStop, it actually came from my SE&C member friend, Joe. Now Joe, uh, sent this over because Joe is a humongous Destiny fan. Now, let's go ahead and crack this open and you guys will see why I am so stoked that Joe sent this to me so that I could make a video for all of you. This is the... Whoa. Iron Gajola Horn. Gajaller Horn? Gajiggle Jig. Anyway, this is the Galler Horn. Uh, Galler Horn is an exotic rocket launcher. It says, item is much bigger than shown. Uh -huh. It is 44 inches long, and this is very expensive. So it was very kind of Joe to send this prop over to me so that I could take a look at it. Maybe someday I'll make it functional if this video gets like a ton of likes or something. I'm sure Joe would like that as well. It says up here, not a toy. This is definitely a display piece. And then on the back, we have exotic rocket launcher, iron galler horn, uh, in-game sound effect. So it's going to make some noise and it has a two-stage trigger action something or other. So, I mean, this thing is cool. Like, let's go ahead and get it out of the package because I am very excited to see how difficult it is to assemble, how quickly we can get it together. I have not yet started playing Destiny 2, so no spoilers, I'm actually going to be playing Destiny 2 on PC, not PS4 because members of the Bungie team have asked me to play with them this go around. So they were waiting to play the official uh, PC launch. I played the beta with them and I'm super duper stoked to, to do that. Like there's something very special about playing with people who design something because they point out fun Easter eggs and they have the best stories about the various levels that you're playing through and balancing and stuff. Nothing is more frustrating uh, or nothing is frustrating because you tend to have a pretty good explanation for why frustrating things are frustrating. Uh, this is well locked down. So the Iron Gallarhorn was one of the last Destiny 1 exotics that I got personally. It came with the DLC if you purchased it the right way. Let's Come on. Man, vacuum is obnoxious as all get out. So let's try and remove this. And it's definitely like made of plastic. This is a prop, however, it is pretty heavy. <laughs> oh, this is why we do things in POV, guys. We are better in POV. So here we have the Gallarhorn. It's got a lot of stuff holding it in place. This knife is ridiculous. Eyes up, Guardian. So to get it out of the package, once those are gone, you can just kind of lift. Set that to the side, so that's the main body piece. Here we have are these optics. Yes, sir. -y. Uh, some sort of optic system. And then up here we have the main barrel. I think that's everything ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully assembly is not too terribly complicated. I've put some toys together in my time. Let's go ahead and slide this on. Uh, is there an up or a down or are the parts symmetrical? That definitely seems to be it. Click and that is in. Excellent. Uh, there is a label to camera side for sure. 
some plastic here to protect various bits and bobs. This is going to snap on to the side. Let's make sure the orientation is correct. Okay, so that is good to go. Then we have a handle that comes down here and this here, and we are ready to gajolo people. Wolf pack rounds not included. Now, we definitely have to add batteries. The batteries are gonna be down in here. Whee! And then we've got a soundboard coming out here. So this is definitely not functional in the sense that it shoots anything yet, but it is a really cool looking one-to-one -one prop. We're gonna need three AAA batteries, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so batteries installed, and Oh wow, and it, uh, it vibrates guys, so it gives you some tactile feedback, not only the first time, but the implication is that I guess the wolf pack rounds hit, and then it rumbles again. So it kind of mimics the controller when you fire a gajolo round, but uh, this is really, really neat. Now all we have to do is figure out how much space we have up front. There's a lot of space up front. I think, uh, with a little bit of love, we can make this fire some uh, some demolisher rockets. That would not be too terribly complicated. So uh, definitely like this video. If it gets up to, let's say, I don't know, 5,000 likes, I will convince Joe to let me make this into a functional Galar horn that shoots Nerf rockets. Because that, it's got a ton of space inside. Locking on. This is cool. This is really, really cool. I'm super thrilled that McFarland Toys got the licensing from Bungie to make this because this was really neat. I remember seeing it at Toy Fair and thinking, wow, that's really cool. And I wanted to play with it there, but it was the actual mold and nobody was allowed to touch it. However, uh, now anybody can have one for a relatively uh, reasonable price for a prop this size. And when I say reasonable, I mean, obviously this is ridiculously expensive compared to like the cost of the video game. However, uh, compared to the cost of like a prop like this on Etsy or even the cost to print one yourself and just raw PLA, this is a pretty good deal. So if you want a Galar horn of your very own, uh, this is probably the way to go. But that's just my quick review of the Destiny Iron Galar horn by uh, McFarland Toys distributed by GameStop. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you want to see it shoot rockets. Much love, Nerf on, Drek out. So that's pretty much it guys. It was a quick unboxing and review, but I wanted to get out here so that you could get a full body shot just so you guys could see how like life size the, the Galar horn is. I want to say here, uh, it's about four feet, maybe ish, somewhere around four feet long. It's huge. Like this is really cool. It's definitely very light sized as Guardians, unlike Spartans, are normal person sized ish. Or at least the Warlocks are. I play Warlock for a reason. Speaking of, uh, tonight is the PC launch of Destiny 2. And I am really looking forward to that. As I mentioned in the video, I've got some really cool people to play with. And I'll be streaming on my Twitch. So I will be live on twitch.com backslash vampire drac. And I will be starting at 10 p.m. And I do not even like Twitch as a platform, but I'm going to try it one more time for you guys. So it would mean a whole lot to me if you would tune in and show a little love. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I doubt there will be a Galarhorn in Destiny 2. What a broken monster guy.